want to share a heartwarming story with you that uh, unfortunately had a heartbreaking ending about a, a gravely injured fawn that was found on the shores of Lake Ontario in the east end of Scarborough by a local couple, Carl and Sheila. Uh, the couple stumbled upon this deer partially submerged in water with uh, severe injuries from a suspected coyote attack. My daughter, who happened to be walking along the beach, uh, comes across this scene and she calls me to explain that this deer was uh, so badly injured and weak that it could barely hold its head out of the water. And they had called the Toronto Wildlife Centre but were unable to get anyone on the phone. So they called the city's uh, Toronto Animal Services and were told that somebody could be there in about two hours. Now that was time that this deer clearly didn't have. So I called my sister, Winita Gusek Goodman, who happens to have a lifetime of experience rescuing every kind of critter imaginable. Uh, she jumps in her car and we meet up at the parking lot. She races down to the beach with me, uh, armed only with a quilt, and she springs into action. Aww. Yeah, yeah, that's from the coyotes. It's got a lot of life still. That's good. Yeah, we're going to be good. And we all can all, we can all take that. Yeah, yeah, good, good. I know, good. I know oh, That's honey. good, that's good. If it's talking, that's a good thing. Yeah, His so tail. That's why I want to make sure that we're actually grabbing him from underneath okay. instead of front to back. Just take turns carrying it? I think so, because I don't want to grab anything here for, for fear that because he's got something injured there and it looks like something um lift him up the way you want put him in yeah. the arm no. watch the tail chris the blanket is good like a slate I wouldn't worry too much about the, the, the now once the deer was safely loaded into my sister's uh, minivan and tucked in snugly with uh, this quilt she drove off across the city to Downsview to the Toronto Wildlife Centre and the rest of us parted ways, you know, hopeful that this fawn would survive. Uh, sadly, about an hour later, my sister called me in tears explaining that Toronto Wildlife Centre uh, staff had told her the injuries were far more extensive than we knew and the, the animal had to be euthanized. Now, this is a story that's far too common in Toronto, but if you want to make a difference, you can make a donation at TorontoWildlifeCentre.com. For the Toronto Sun, I'm Chris Doucette.